total gas electron configuration. This is pretty much the same method as the one previously in this video, except it's a little shorter. Instead of writing all of this out, such as 1s2, 2s2, and so on, you can use the noble gas that has this, that same configuration. Let's look at our periodic table chart. Let's try finding the configuration for titanium. First, you have to find the nearest noble gas that has fewer electrons than the element that we want to find. In this case, it would be argon. To figure out the configuration of argon, you go across the first period of the periodic table, and it's represented as 1s2. You go down to the second period, it is represented as 2s2, 2p6. And then you go down to the third period, which is represented as 3s2, 3p6. All of this is understood to be argon. And then we go along the fourth period until we reach the element. The rest of this is represented as 4s2, 3d2. So the final noble gas configuration of titanium is argon 4s2 3d2. Okay, let's try finding another element. How about rubidium? So the nearest noble gas that has fewer electrons is krypton. So we can immediately write this down. And then to find the rest of the configuration, we go down to the fifth period and this is represented as 5s1. So our final answer is Krypton 5s1. And this is how you find the noble gas configuration. Hi, I'll be teaching you the process of electron configuration. So to start, it would be easiest to start with the periodic table. The numbers down the side are the energy levels. Uh, this is the S group, this over here is the P group, and this in here is the D group. I have already selected the uh, elements that I'm going to show you how to do the electron configuration on. This little number up here, the superscript, is how many electrons are in that element. So, we'll start with hydrogen. So, it's on 1S because it's on energy level 1, and it has one electron, shown here. Next is helium, and it has two atoms, so that's still on the 1s level, but this time you have two electrons, and you always want to put them facing opposite directions, like this, or else electrons don't want to work, like batteries. Next is lithium, and it has three atoms. Now, then you write 1s for the two atoms before this, and then you go down to 2, because it's on energy level 2, 2s, two it's in the s group, and you have one electron. Next is beryllium, 1s, two electrons, 2s. Two you also have two electrons here because there are four atoms. Next is baron, and it has five atoms, so 1s, 2, 2s, 2, and then you get into p's. So, 2py, 2px, and 2pz. Now, why did I do that? I did that because the P circuit can hold six electrons, but here we only need one. Now if you needed to fill the rest of these up, you would do one for each until you had to double up. And that's how you do it. And to abbreviate it, say I wanted to abbreviate on baron, so I'd write B, five, and then it's one S two, because you have two electrons. 2s2, two, 2 electrons, and 2p1.